Have you ever thought, there's got to be a better and simpler way to learn organizational strategies? 5 Minutes Learning has a global and diverse collection of case studies to help management students click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our upcoming and interesting case studies. Starbucks doesn't just sell beverages all over the world. It also collects a lot of data from over 100 million transactions per week. What does it do with this information? And how do artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things play a role in this? Regardless of the size of your company, Starbucks can be a great example of how to use data and modern technology to gain a competitive advantage. For example, it is a pioneer in combining loyalty systems, payment cards, and mobile apps. But that is only the tip of the iceberg. This video highlights five of the most interesting examples of how Starbucks uses data, artificial intelligence, and IoT to gain a competitive advantage. Starbucks may no longer be a coffee company, but rather a data technology company for food and beverages. It's no secret that Starbucks is a data-driven company. It operates over 30,000 stores worldwide and processes nearly 100 million transactions per week. This provides it with an in-depth understanding of what its customers consume and enjoy. It may surprise you to learn that Starbucks only started focusing on data value a little more than a decade ago. It wasn't that it hadn't used data before. A crisis prompted the company's transformation, as with many major changes. In this case, the change was prompted by the 2008 financial blip and subsequent store closures. This taught Howard Schultz, then CEO of Starbucks, that data should be used more analytically. Prior to that, Starbucks, like many other organizations, made decisions based on experience and judgment. Choosing the right location is critical to success in retail. In 2007 and 2008, Starbucks CEO, Howard Schultz, was forced to come out of retirement to close hundreds of stores and rethink the company's strategic growth plan. This time, Starbucks took a more disciplined, data-driven approach to store openings. The company can choose the most strategic location for its new stores by using location-based analytics powered by Atlas, a mapping and business intelligence tool developed by Esri. Before recommending a new store location, Starbucks evaluates massive amounts of data, including variables such as population, income levels, traffic, competitor presence, and proximity to other Starbucks locations. Using this information, the company can forecast revenues, profits, and other aspects of economic performance for that location. The software is also assisting in determining where the next 1,500 plus stores should be located, which will not only help the company expand, but will also drive revenue for new store developments. Starbucks used the gathered data to determine which products to offer when launching new products. In particular, when expanding its product lines into grocery stores, the company heavily relies on the data gathered. According to a study, 43% of tea drinkers avoid adding sugar. Starbucks created a new product line of unsweetened iced teas to cater to this market. Also, after discovering that 25% of consumers do not add milk to their coffee, the company launched a new line of black iced coffee without milk. These menu enhancements and grocery store product launches are not only just providing customers with their favorite products, they're also about convincing their customers to avoid other coffee brands while at home. It's a market share grab strategy that's been hugely successful. It's a way for Starbucks to take a retail brand and bring it into consumers' homes. When Starbucks launched its rewards program and mobile app, its data collection increased significantly. This allowed them to get to know their customers and extract information about their purchasing habits. Using its mobile app, Starbucks collects data about what, where, and when its members purchase coffee. 
Starbucks uses the Digital Flywheel Program, a cloud-based artificial intelligence engine capable of making precise food and beverage recommendations. As a result, even when people visit a new Starbucks location, the store's point-of-sale system can identify the customer through their phone and give the barista their preferred order. Starbucks could also suggest new products a customer might like based on their purchase history, as well as provide unique discounts and rewards on specific items based on their unique preferences. Starbucks went one step further by collecting data on weather patterns and their relationship with customer order patterns. This enables the company to provide even more personalized experiences and promotions, such as delivering cold drinks to a customer on hot days. One implication of the preceding examples is that Starbucks can constantly refine and adjust its offerings. Starbucks' data-driven approach allows it to make changes based on customers, location, and time. This has an impact on products, promotions, and pricing. However, if your in-store offerings are displayed on printed menu boards above the counter, there is a disconnect with the ability to constantly adjust things. This is one of the reasons why retailers continue to favor low-tech solutions such as blackboards. Starbucks, on the other hand, sees the solution as a rollout of digital signage in stores, with computer-generated menu displays. This completes a chain that allows changes in the customer experience to be reflected in the store. Obviously, this raises a slew of questions, and there's plenty of room for things to get complicated. However, as of mid-2018, Starbucks was only testing this in a few locations. It concentrated its efforts on promoting specific products based on local factors such as weather or time of day. Our final example is coffee machine maintenance and general in-store machinery. The typical in-store Starbucks transaction is relatively low cost and short-lived. A store's success is dependent on high levels of customer throughput. So, when a machine fails, it can have a significant impact on business performance. Starbucks doesn't keep engineers on site for breakdowns. Instead, they send them out to deal with repairs and to perform planned maintenance. Having engineers respond quickly to broken machines makes a difference. There are conventional approaches to this problem. This typically means collecting data about failures, machine usage, repairs required, and so on. Regular data analytics is effective at identifying trends and patterns. AI can assist in taking this to the next level by forecasting breakdowns and maintenance requirements. Starbucks has taken a step forward by developing a new coffee machine, the Clover X currently, this is only used in flagship and concept stores. It's not only cutting-edge in terms of coffee-making capability, but it's also cloud-connected. This not only enables a more comprehensive collection of operational data, it also enables remote fault diagnosis and even remote repairs. Similar ideas will apply to other machines. For example, stores now have a standard oven that is also computer-controlled to ensure consistent preparation of hot products around the world. However, the current machines need to be updated by USB drive. This occurs whenever there is a change in machine configuration, such as the introduction of new products. In the future, this will undoubtedly become a direct cloud connection, opening up more AI opportunities. While Starbucks was not born in the digital era, as a digitally native company, it has successfully integrated new technologies into its core business. Data analytics has unquestionably become the backbone of Starbucks' continuous improvement over the years. In the future, Starbucks will continue to gather more data and apply it in even more innovative ways to provide a more personalized customer experience and achieve business excellence. Starbucks is a textbook example of how to start a journey to utilize data strategically, implementing plans systematically and thoroughly. Another lesson is that artificial intelligence is part of Starbucks' journey to learn how to use data.
Using artificial intelligence was not something that happened out of a burning desire. It was just a matter of doing it when the time was right in each area. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for receiving updates about my upcoming case study videos.